Our next topic is what is MIMO? It is an antenna technology for wireless communication in which multiple antennas are used at both the source and the destination. The antenna at each end of the communication circuit are combined to minimize errors. Optimize data speed and improve the capacity of radio transmissions by enabling data to travel over many signal paths at the same time. Creating multiple versions of the same signal provides more opportunities for the data to reach the receiving antenna without being affected by fading, which increases the signal to noise ratio and error rate. By boosting the capacity of radio frequency systems, MIMO creates a more stable connections and less congestions. Now let's see MIMO's development and history. MIMO technology has been developed over many years. Not only did the basic MIMO concept need to be formulated, but in addition to this, new technologies needed to be developed to enable MIMO to be fully implemented. New levels of processing were needed to allow some of the features of spatial multiplexing as well as to utilize some of the gains of spatial diversity. Up until the 1990s, Spatial diversity was often limited to system that switched between two antennas or combined the signal to, to provide the best signal. Also, various forms of beam switching were implemented. But in views of the levels of processing involved and the degrees of processing available, the systems were generally relatively limited. However, with the additional levels of processing power that started to become available, it was possible to utilize both spatial diversity and full spatial multiplexing. The initial work on MIMO system focused on basic spatial diversity. Here the MIMO system was used to limit the degradation caused by multipath propagation. However, this was only the first step as system then started to utilize the multipath propagation to advantage. Turning the additional signal path into what might effectively be considered as additional channels to carry additional data. Two researchers, Arogya Swami Pulraj and Thomas Kailath, were first to propose the use of spatial multiplexing using MIMO in 1993, and the following year their US patent was granted. However, it fell to Bell Labs to be the first to demonstrate a laboratory prototype of spatial multiplexing in 1998. Our next topic is importance of MIMO for users. The third generation partnership project 3GPP added MIMO with release 8 of the mobile broadband standard. MIMO technology is used for Wi-Fi networks and cellular fourth generation long-term evolution and fifth generation technology in a wide range of markets, including law enforcement, broadcast TV production and government. It can also be used in wireless local area network WLANs and is supported with all wireless products with 802.11n. MIMO is often used for the high bandwidth communication where it is important to not have interference from the microwave or RF systems. For example, it's frequently used by first responders who can't always rely on cell networks during a disaster or power outrage or when a cell network is overloaded. Wi-Fi 6, also known as 802.11ax, raised the bar for wireless connectivity by introducing several new technologies to help eliminate the limitations associated with adding more Wi-Fi devices to a network. Wi-Fi 7 is currently in development with an expected release in 2024. Before MIMO, there were other types of advanced antenna technology with different configurations, most commonly multi-input single output and single input multiple output. MIMO builds on these technologies. Our next topic is Massive MIMO. Multiple input, multiple output is a radio antenna technology which develops multiple antenna at both the transmitter and receiver to increase the quality, throughput and capacity of the radio link. 
Mimo uses technique known as spatial diversity and spatial multiplexing to transmit independent and separately encoded data signals known as streams, reusing the same time period and frequency resource. The transmitter simultaneously sends different streams to different users using the same time and frequency resource, thereby increasing the network capacity. Spectral efficiency and capacity can be improved by adding additional antenna to support more streams, up to the point where power sharing and interference between users result in diminishing gains and eventually losses. MIMO is used in many modern wireless and RF technologies, including Wi-Fi and long-term evaluation, LTE. 3GPP, the global organization responsible for the definition of wireless standards, first specified MIMO for LTE in 2008 in its release 8. This initial variant used two transmitters and two receivers, 2 into 2 MIMO, and subsequent increases in processing power have enabled the use of more simultaneous data streams in wireless networks with current 4G LTE networks using 4 into 4 MIMO. The very short wavelengths at MM wave frequencies result in similar antenna dimensions and for 5G NR, 3GPP has specified 32 antennas 32 into 32 MIMO in release 15, which will rise to 64 and more in future releases. The expansion in the size of MIMO antenna has led to the term Massive MIMO. Massive MIMO techniques Massive MIMO is based upon the three key concepts of spatial diversity, spatial multiplexing and beam forming. MIMO builds on the fact that a radio signal between transmitter and receiver is filtered by its environment with reflections from building and other obstacles resulting in multiple signal paths. You can refer to the figure on the screen. The various reflected signals will arrive at the receiving antenna with differing time delays, levels of attenuation and direction of travel. When multiple receive antennas are deployed, each antenna receives a slightly different version of the signal, which can be combined mathematically to prove the quality of the transmitted signal. This technique is known as spatial diversity since the receiver antenna are spatially separated from each other. Spatial diversity is also achieved by transmitting the radio signal over multiple antenna with each antenna, in some cases sending modified versions of the signal. Whilst spatial diversity increases the reliability of the radio link, spatial multiplexing increases the capacity of the radio link by using the multiple transition paths as additional channels for carrying data. Spatial multiplexing allows multiple, unique, streams of data to be sent between the transmitter and receiver, significantly increasing throughput and also enabling multiple network users to be supported by a single transmitter. Hence the term multiple MIMO. Now let us understand the benefits of massive MIMO. As a key building block of 5G NR, massive MIMO builds multiple benefits of both network operator and end users. The technology significantly improves spectral efficiency, delivering more network capacity for the same amount of spectrum, thereby enabling operators to maximize their investments in this expensive resource. As 5G networks are rolled out, they will depend heavily on network densification in order to deliver the required data rates and to support the high number of connections, particularly in urban areas. Massive MIMO in conjunction with beam forming technology enables a highly targeted use of spectrum, removing current performance bottlenecks, supporting a larger number of users in the cell and improving end user experience in densely populated area. Other potential benefits include higher connection reliability along with increased resistance to interference and intentional jamming. Due to the increased number of signal paths, 
Massive MIMO networks will also be more responsive to device transmitting at higher frequencies, which will improve coverage, particularly indoors. Our next topic is future of massive MIMO. As 5G networks roll out, the use of massive MIMO will expand with the ever larger antenna arrays becoming feasible as the technology and 3GPP specifications evolve. MM Wave is the key to 5G performance and capacity and massive MIMO array which can operate at these frequencies will soon become mainstream. NEC, for example, has developed a prototype 24 antenna array capable of operating at 28 GHz and commercial massive MIMO systems with 64 arrays or more will soon be mainstream at both sub-6 GHz and MM wave frequencies. By the parallel evolution of advanced antenna systems which integrate the antenna arrays with the associated RF transmission hardware and software, as well as the signal processing capability required by beam forming and MIMO. As MM wave shrinks the size of the antenna and also the electronic components, these AAS will become smaller, playing a key role in network densification and being deployed to provide 5G coverage in indoor locations. Hope you all understood. Meet you in the next topic. If you have any queries, please get in touch with us by typing your comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Do like and subscribe to our videos. So what are you waiting for? Join us for the course and do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Also, if you like our videos, don't forget to hit the like button and share our videos.